Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 66 of Let's Play Shimigami Tensei Nocturne. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I have some good news. After a little bit more leveling at level 84, I now have Frey Kujol. It does like damage that's almighty, so it cannot be repelled or voided in any way. And it does cost a little bit of HP to use, but it's still very good. And it works well with Pierce. Alright, so with that... Should I take Quetzalcoatl out of my party? And who was I going to put in? Yeah, it was Nyx. Yeah, let's go with Nyx for a while. But Kali is very close to learning a new skill as well. Getting Dark Sword. And Nyx has a skill of her own. A Glacial Blast. So I replaced... I think it was Dormina? because it wasn't going to help. Also, when I did a little bit of exploring in this room, there are teleporters in here. So you have to choose the right path. And this path over here, that I'm looking to the left, is not it. You'll just get sent back to the start of this room. So our main goal, I think, is to bring this platform down so we can get around it. What's going on? I'm back here again? I'll never make it to Lady Chiaki's side at this rate. Let me check my map. Yeah, so basically the map is only there to tell you what teleporters you've already stepped on. It doesn't tell you where the teleporters go. That was bad. So you have to use your best judgment to make sure that you're not gonna go to the wrong direction. I think I'm going to make it a concerted effort to boost my agility. Because I hear that Frey Kujol can miss sometimes. Not exactly the best accuracy in the world. And I don't know if it has a high crit rate. But, if I'm able to boost my agility, that means I can also increase my accuracy. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword, in a way. Okay, so we don't want to go that way. We're gonna go this way. That's a dead end, alright. And... Okay. I think we need to go... This way. And I literally teleported like two blocks away from that point. So that's a little weird. Alright, I I'm, guess I'm gonna go this way. I think the teleporters are basically where shadows are. So right now, I look to be around the northeast part of that room. So, try your best not to get too disoriented. An SEL by itself, you'll do fine. There, we did it. The king is dead. It's Lion King all over again. Okay, let's try. Um, do we go up? I don't think we go up. We should go this way. Oh, I warped again. And I ended up over here. Am I literally right next to where I was? I, I am. Okay, which way should I head next? I... I don't know. I think we'll try... Going... This way. Oh. Come on, dog. Why I gotta do this? You don't have to be this way, you know. Now you're dead. That's what you get. Do I have Masakato's equipped? Yes, I do. 
So I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to consider what skill I'm going to replace Void Death with. Because if I have Masticados, I pretty much already Void Death. So it essentially doesn't matter. It's only if I want to remove it or something. And even then, I'm only going to remove it just to learn a skill. Which means I'm obviously not going to use it for something that's dangerous. Alright, I say we can go ham on them now. I noticed that the first Velger has pretty good agility. But man, that's a good yield of experience. Probably because of the Mata. What's a Mata with you, huh? Am I right? Alright, definitely doing my best not to get lost here. And so far, it's going just fine. Yeah, I think it reaches the way to go. Oh, wait a minute, one of them is asleep. That's an instant kill on that one. How the hell did you even get money anyway? Like, where are you gonna go? Like, you can't go shopping if you're just stuck to the floor forever. This game does not make sense sometimes. It just makes you a little frustrated. Okay, so I can use Frey Kujol on these guys, or girls. I'm literally shooting out of my eyes. Cyclops, eat your heart out. Gonna make quick work of these mokes. Mokes. <laughs> Why don't I say mokes? I never say mokes. Ever. Whatever. Let's just win. I'm thinking we go here. Oh, Mystic Chest. You know what this shit means. Time to waste some time. I love how Retaliate just does not work when I have Masakados on. Uh, I just another... I'm not gonna use a turn, I'm gonna pass. Try to use this to take out the Abaddon. is in order. And you can use some MP back. Oh. Oh, right, I was gonna heal. I like how the target just sinks into the ground as well. That's hilarious. I don't know why. Okay, so now we gotta play our favorite game. Bring around the mystical chest. I don't know how many more there are in the entire game. Hopefully there ain't many. Because again, it just pads these videos, having to run around them. Um... Sure, you're gonna die. Or at least they're going to be very close to death. Being able to do that much damage without a focus, that's pretty damn good. I'm just going to say that much.
At this point, I can probably replace Void Death with just about anything. But what do I want to replace it with? Too bad I can't replace it with, like, a Bright Might or a Dark Might. I don't think you can learn these from any Magatama. Maybe... I can get Retaliate? Retaliate would not work well because if I don't get hit, you know, like I'm voiding physicals, can I even retaliate? No, it only works if I get hit. So that might be out of the question. Maybe something that increases my MP total by a bit more? I don't know. I have a lot of options here. And I don't know which one to consider. At least these jabronis are easy. I would have considered the year longer being a little bit tougher, but apparently that's not the case at all. I could consider replacing light. But it served me well, and it has a really good crit rate. And usually that matters more than base damage. Getting a critical just means you get an extra turn. And that means a lot. Especially when taking on bosses. Okay, we're almost at full. Come on, Daddy, just a little bit more. Oh god, that sounded awful. All that for a bead chain! Do I feel good about that? Probably fucking not. Alright, let's see where I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go over here. And then warp this way. And now I'm over here. I'll go in this direction, maybe? Oh, I see another mystic chest, too. Let's see if I can get this one before the Kagetsuchi is a little too low. Six of eight's pretty good. Yeah, I got the Soma anyway. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Where do I freaking go? I literally have no clue. Wait a minute, I, I saw something over there. Can I still get to it? I might be able to. Let's see. Okay, don't I just warp back here? Can I get past this? I don't know. Nope, there's just a warp over here. And I got sent back here! Okay, whatever. Hold on. Is this thing over here? Gotta find out how I'm gonna get over there. I know it came this way before, and it was just fine. I wonder if there's a specific warp I have to go to end up on the other side of the initial part of the room. Because this is getting really frustrating, just going all over the place. And I don't know where this warp takes me. Takes me over here. Okay, let's try the other way. I haven't tried there yet. Oh, that's how you get to that cash cube. For 20,000 maka. And that's literally it. I do not feel good about that at all. 
I'm just gonna say that much. How the hell do I lower this? There's probably a switch? Like, as soon as I get on this, it's going to move. It's gonna send me over here. Oh, this is so confusing. I haven't figured this one out yet. And constant encounters is only gonna disorient me. So I'm thinking about my escape route, and it's... Did I just take the wrong way? I did. See, that's what I'm talking about! Oh, this is such an annoying room. I got an idea. I'm just gonna chakra elixir. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna meditate. And I'm a GTFO. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it! I ended up taking the same goddamn war! What was I thinking? I'm just wasting like a couple minutes. There, just just go this way. Yeah, make sure you go this way. Oh my god, I can't take more than a dozen steps without another fight. I don't want to be fighting all the damn time. All I'm saying is give peace a chance. Maybe them hippies were right. I'm just saying, dog. I say that as I have a dog literally on the couch with me. She's just sleeping. Alright, well, we're gonna figure this out at some point. I don't know when, but one day, we'll get to it. I think this warp was fine? Was it fine? Yeah, I think it was fine. Okay, and it took me over here. This time I'm gonna go north. Going west allowed me to get to a cash cube. But then I get sent to the very beginning of the room. So there's no point going for it now. I don't think stepping on there was a good idea. I don't think I went this way. And now I end up over here. I just find it, does it look like there's like millions of demons through Demi Fiend's point of view? And now I'm over this way. Do I want to be this way? Okay, if I go in this direction, I'll probably end up on another warp. What else is new? And I'm set this way! So this is not the right path, either! Fuck me! Where is the right way? Where have I not been? There's a lot of this stuff over here. I haven't really mapped out the entire room, I'll be honest with you. There's probably a good reason for that. Now, let's have a little bit of fun. Can we find the way out of this room before 25 minutes? Your guess is as good as mine. In fact, it might actually be better than mine. Because my guess is pretty much shit. 
Look where my guesses have gotten me. Literally all over the place. Please. Give me some answers. Oh my god! Let me... Move! Let me goddamn move! Okay, there was a warp here, but there wasn't anything else. Don't know if I want to go down yet. Let's see, do I want to... Uh, do I want to go left? Maybe I want to go left. Maybe I don't want to go left. If I go left, I'm probably going to end up around the same spot. Don't know if I... if this was a good idea to go this way. I'm confused. Was there something else that moves this block? Can you imagine if there was something else that moved the block the whole time? And we just didn't realize it until it was too late? back here! Why am I back here? This is not where I want to go. Jesus Christ! Who thought this dungeon was such a good idea? This is why I check my map too much. Just keep going this way. No, I'm gonna go f straight up. Let's try going straight up. It only took me over here. This doesn't do me any favors either. You know what? This level can just straight up fuck off. We might be over 25 minutes before I get through the end of this. Look at all the teleporters, man. I kind of wish they were, like, color-coded. It would make life a hell of a lot better. And I end up over here. There's nothing else of value. Did I check the end of this? I swear to God, if there was like an invisible wall this whole time, and I was supposed to go through that, oh, I'd be inconsolable right now. I've been here before, too. Let's try going this way. Oh, no, I'm back here. Shit. Oh, no, you're not gonna let me run. Fuck it, I'm gonna try again. It worked. Alright, where is this gonna take me? Did I end up back here? Yeah, I did. I swear, there's gotta be a rhyme and reason for all this. Are you serious? Look how few steps I've taken. I wonder I'm so salty here. Yeah, 
the Oni's not gonna help me. Oh my god. Imagine if the solution was just literally going back to the corner. They would not do that. That would be evil. Or even stepping over here. I mean, it looks like the layouts of the rooms are very symmetrical. So I'll give him that. It's just too bad it's still padded with bullshit. This is the reason why I swear so much in this Let's Play. Because this is what you gotta deal with. I mean, wouldn't you be uh, swearing like a sailor if this is what you had to deal with all the time? Dear God, what if it takes a half hour to get to the next floor? Jesus, this room is so bad! Okay, it's not completely symmetrical, because you have this stuff over here. It looks to me like the only path I have not checked yet. So maybe I should check that? It may not be such a bad idea. Yeah, let, let's try that. That seems to be the only way I haven't gone through. This might make a little bit of sense. What if I go straight down? This might lead somewhere. Oh my god. Oh my fucking Christ. Can I lower these platforms? There! Now nobody has to experience this shit again! I'm just gonna keep going and possibly risk dying and then have to do the whole damn puzzle again before I get to save. Oh, that is gonna be fun. Now I'm on the 431st floor. I saw a Kagatsuchi from the path straight up north. Hmph, <laughs> how arrogant it looks. Lady Chiaki is much more elegant. Why don't you just marry her then? Ow! That was a little bit of a jump scare, even though it's just on the floor. And now it's dark, too. Make me go through all my resources then, why don't ya? What? I teleported? Well, I'm right next to a save terminal. 3A. And if things go wrong, I can always just link back to the original. And I at least unlocked a shortcut. So I feel so much better not having to do all that again. Teleporters all over, all over the place here, too. That's gonna suck. God knows where I'm gonna have to go then. But it doesn't seem like there's as many. There are some one way doors, though. And that bothers me a great deal. way. This must be one of the dark rooms. Hope I can ride this. 
Do I want to? Okay, I'm over here. I'm on the 444th floor. And I have this bridge to deal with. I need a celebratory battle to show that I've finally gotten away from the bad room. I need this. And you need this! Please don't all heal. Oh, so you're gonna debilitate. All right. Yeah, that's gonna make Hades blast even worse. Okay, I can't cannot tell which one healed. So I'm just gonna have to kill you all. But they're all standing up like a whole bunch of Rory Calhouns. <laughs> yeah, I went there. That's right, you take that poison damage, bitch. Take it like the bitch that you are, bitch. Ah, go for the Mata. Asiel may not be long for this world. Is that really a good idea? You just use Dragon Eye only to die from poison. That's hilarious. This was a trap floor. And I'm on floor th 431 again. Alright, well, I'll just get teleported instantly. I didn't want to be here anyway. Okay, I'm back at the terminal. up on the north wing. Oh, I did not need this at all. Dude. You survived on 24 HP. Holy Christ. That Mott dodge the bull storm did not help my chances. Okay, you're just all gonna have to die now, like literally right now. No sense to use preach because Mott voids it. There we go. Now it's pretty much ball game. Oh, Red Rider's about to level up too. You deserve some chakra drops. Hopefully I won't have to worry about running out of light balls here. Okay, there's three doors. I'll take the middle one. That was not the right one. It sent me back here. Alright, I'm not really good at pick a door. Um, door number three. I think door number three will be the way to go. It was! Everything wore out. Oh, Quetzalcoatl sucks to be you. Sucks to be my light ball inventory as well. It's 
Should I go through that door? Or should I just explore the rest of this floor? I think I'm gonna go against my better judgment and explore. And that'll send me up anyway. But where does it send me up to? 444th floor. But I've been on the 444th floor before. I ended up on a uh, trap floor. And then fell back down. I wonder if it's going to be like that here, too. Only one way to find out. Is this the same one I took before? Nope, this is different territory. Alright. That was just a different level. Oh, this is a... This is a big-ass room. What is over here, then? It's a dead end. And there's another lift. There's a door over here. I should not have taken the door. so much to see on this floor and we may not even get to it all all right so here's what I'm thinking I'm just gonna end the episode here I feel like I didn't make as much progress as I thought I would and I really don't want this video to be way too long so in the next episode we're still going to explore the 431st floor maybe the 444th and hopefully we'll find Chiaki on the way I have no idea what floor she's on. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.